Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we're going to quickly wrap up our four part photo manipulation video tutorial. And if you need access to any project files, they're available for free in the description below this video. Check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, uh, welcome back. So we're gonna finish up this photo manipulation today. And we're gonna add some, we're gonna start by adding some uh, text. So. All right, the way we'll do this is take the type tool, and I'm using a font called Trajan or Trajan. I don't even know how to pronounce it, whatever. Uh, I'm going to go to the very top layer. I'm going to left click and drag out right around here. Hit center, and we're going to type in caps lock if war is hell. All right, so we'll make this white just so we could see it. We're going to make the size quite large, I think. 70, no, that's not enough. I'm going to try 90 right there. And then we're going to uh, make some more adjustments. So double click on the right side to bring up the layer styles for this type layer. And we're going to add a gradient overlay. Take and click on there for the gradient editor. Then I say editor, editor. And double click on the first color picker and we'll choose, uh, yeah, right around there. 64, 64, 64. And then the second one. Uh, I'm just going to hit OK. We'll leave it at white. And then we'll do in inner shadow. So take the blend mode, make it normal, make it white for the color. I know I'm moving fast, but you're going you're gonna to have to deal with it, man. So size is zero, distance is one. All right, so we could see how we want to adjust this. Maybe uh, yeah, right around there, that angle is good. All right, and if you want to, you can add a stroke. Uh, let me see if I want to or not. Mm. Yeah, we'll leave it at one pixel or two pixels. Just drop down the opacity a little bit and hit OK. All right, and then I'm going to duplicate that layer. So Control Shift D, move this down, hit Control T. Well, actually, we can adjust that differently. I don't, I don't want to get, uh, adjust, screw that up. Um, what we'll do is just take this, throw down the flag, all caps lock, control A, and then we'll take the size, try 30. Uh, I think I might want to do 50. Oops. No, 40. And then also I can take uh, the character or go to window character and increase the width there. Mine was already at 200, so that's something you would probably have to do um, yourself. I'm going to try increasing it by 400. All right, and then I duplicate that, Control Shift D, and then take this down, try 25, and adjust it. And then say, and embrace your fellow man. Okay. Take that letter spacing. I'll try 600. All right. So I'm going to take these uh, with auto select layer and a move tool and just uh, move them around a little bit, holding shift and left clicking and dragging. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is take this if war is hell layer, hit control shift N make it a clipping mask right here. Hit OK. And then over here, we're going to double click on the layer beneath it, the actual type layer, and deselect blend clip layers as a group, and then select blend interior effects as group. And I'll tell you why I did that one second. Let's take our red color. We're going to get a brush out here for blood. I'll try this one. And yeah, we're going to take that size down quite a bit. Select on our layer 16. Make that size a little bit larger. And then take the blend mode and go down with your down arrow key. I think multiply will work well for that. Uh, so, yeah, the reason you do that is if you know, the, the default option is this. 
And when it's this, if you try to apply a a layer mask uh, to a object that has like a gradient overlay, it won't show it. So that's the fix. That took me a while to figure out. All right, so uh, yeah, this looks pretty good so far. Uh, still some adjustments I want to make. These guys over here, there's not enough contrast. So let me find that adjustment layer. Now you can add multiple adjustment layers here. If I, I, can, I can even add another one. Yeah, right around there looks good. All right, and let me see here. Now I just want to zoom up and see if there's any other adjustments I want to make. And I want to take these two type layers real quick, the ones beneath the main title, and make those regular so they're not as thick. All right, I think that's pretty good. Uh, so, you know, the idea, of course, is to, and I've reiterated this at the beginning, uh, the first video, basically to try to get people to realize the nature of countries and governments. And I'm going to be sharing this on social media. Um, I probably already did because I, I finished this all in one day. So, you know, the first part of this video tutorial I just got done probably like an hour or two ago but I yeah I will share the results um, with putting this out there on social media and seeing um, how many views it gets like on Facebook and such on the various groups that would find this image interesting it is a little bit controversial but I yeah controversy sells so anyhow yeah um, that is it for today and if you enjoyed this tutorial please check out designcourse.com and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, thanks a lot, goodbye.